Uh, it's pretty crazy, isn't it? Let me just uh, frame this up, because this is simple. This started off with an examination report that your, I'll try to talk fast, because these three minutes are running fast. It, it started with an examination report that was really an agreed upon procedure that you guys were gonna try to close out that continuum labs project and uh, cancel out that $7.25 billion note that's hanging over all your heads right now. So you hired Clifton Larson Allen for an unlimited amount of money, and they were going to take a look at all this stuff, go down to all those deliverables. The last one was that Heartland workforce that Mr. Evers can't remember. I remember. So included in all of that stuff, uh, which kind of got screwed around because of a year-long investigation by Jerry Hill's office started about in March, when Morris and Allen started looking at stuff and then they got cold feet and they started that year long examination uh, that started opening up stuff and then they started finding related parties and then they came out with an examination report December the 19th, I think so, something like that, I can't remember. They came out with a related parties thing and a whole bunch of names in there, including Jim C's uh, son, uh, Miss Pelham's husband, Sue Burgess' son, Bill Lambert's brother, 67,000 bucks, a whole bunch of stuff in there. Now, actually, there were no numbers in there. There were just names. Then the grand jury's presentment came out and had a couple of numbers in there, including his, his brother's number. I got the stupid idea that Clifton Larson Allen was acting on your behalf and you had the absolute authority because you you ordered you ordered an agreed upon procedure to look at deliverables the same deliverables of Casey Dixon who you paid 30 bucks an hour and please allow me to extend my three minutes I'm asking in advance no sir as a courtesy to me since I'm a defendant in a lawsuit I'm asking in advance because these two gentlemen had unlimited know, amount of time that I don't owe you any other courtesy than I owe any other citizen a party so home. I'm I'm you telling you I'm you telling I'm telling the board that Clifton Larson Allen came up with these findings They came up with this stuff. They came up with a list and there were no numbers beside these. And I said that I had the right and the grand jury said the public has the right to know where that money and everything. And you said you wanted to know where all the money went. And I said I had the right and I put in a public records request and I followed a certain protocol, a certain way to put in and ask for those records so that you had to follow, and I used the public records custodian. I followed all of the rules in a correct format. And now we come down to the question. No comments, Mr. Coleman. Thank you. The question is, it's very simple. I want to know, and it's, this is not a 288 thing. There's no trade secrets. There's no software. I simply want to know how much money Miss Pelham's husband got paid, Sue Burgess' son got paid, what day they started, how kind of how much money they got for training, kind of how what what you know what they did for all that stuff. Just this little list, just like five or seven different things. Thank it's you, no trade Kevin. secrets. It's simple. Thank you. Mr. Kirkland. It's gonna go on Facebook right now.